All right, so how every golfer uses the ground is really dependent on the individual. And it's dependent on a whole bunch of factors. One being how dominant or strong each leg is relative to the other. And so this concept was really developed from Mike Adams' principle of posting. So he developed the idea of a rear post golfer, a center post golfer versus a front post golfer. And I think what type of post you are is really dependent on what is your strongest or most dominant leg. And so there's a bunch of different ways to measure this, but one that we found is can give you some really good information is hitting balls in three different conditions. So this is what we call our leg dominance test. And so what you start with is you hit some balls with your feet really close together. Um, and putting your feet really close together basically takes both your feet and make them one foot. Um, and you hit a shot here and you measure a couple of things, club head speed, ball speed, smash factor. So one thing I want to know is how much speed you can create and then how efficiently you can make contact with the ball. Cause if I'm not very stable with my feet together and I can't make solid contact, uh, that might be an indication that that is not my dominant, uh, leg or my dominant condition. Uh, and then from there, you're going to hit some shots with one foot back. So you can start with left or right foot back. And when you get into this position, I want you to try to maintain your stance width. So you see my feet are this far apart. So you just drop the foot straight back. So it's still as far apart from the other foot as it was. And then we tap the toe of the foot that we're not standing on. So we're entirely on one foot and we swing the club again, looking at uh, club head speed and smash factor or ball speed. And then the opposite as well. We're going to drop the left foot back. So we're standing only on our right foot and try to produce as much speed as we can from there. Really important that you cue the golfer to hit it as, or to swing as fast as possible or as normal speed as possible. You don't want them to try to smooth it, uh, to try to uh, make better contact or whatever. It's, it's, an, it's a kind of all out effort to try to create as much speed as they can in each one, three of those conditions. So let's give it a try. So I'm gonna start with the centered condition. I'm gonna put my foot feet about one golf ball width apart. So I always tell people you can fit one golf ball between your feet. That's about as wide as your feet should be. And so we'll set up to it with the ball being measured by the launch monitor with our feet really close together. You can put the ball position wherever you want. So wherever the golfer feels is appropriate for ball position, just put it there and then try to make a full speed swing. Okay. And then you will have them pick another condition. And so here I'm going to start with my feet the same distance apart and then get on a single foot here. We rework the ball position just a little bit. And you'll see that uh, you might see them in this position because clearly they have the no ability to break. They might see them kind of walk towards the target. That's totally fine in the uh, right leg dominant condition. And then you will do the opposite, which is the left leg dominant condition. <laughs> All right. So we will now examine the results in Swing Catalyst. So if we load up the left leg dominant condition to start with, that was the last one we did. You can see if we look at the launch monitor data, that my club speed was 80.2, my smash factor was 131, and my ball speed was 105. All right, so that gives us a little indication. And then if we click the second swing, which was the right leg back, see my club head speed was much higher. So on my right foot, I was 87 miles per hour. Didn't quite make a solid contact. I think I hit that one a hair fat. Uh, you can see the ball speed was down and the smash factor was down, but the fact that the club speed is seven miles an hour faster tells me there's a lot more potential to create speed there. And if we go to the centered condition, the centered condition was a lot more solid contact, one, two, seven smash factor uh, and 87 miles per hour speed. So since the centered and rear conditions were pretty much the same, uh, although the uh, smash factor and impact was better in the rear or in the centered condition. I would say I'm a center to rear golfer, probably a little shifted towards center. And so we always talk about leg dominance as being a continuum. So this would be a purely left legged dominant golfer. This would be a purely right legged dominant golfer. And so if I said I'm kind of in between centered and right, but maybe shifted a little bit towards, I wouldn't be way over here towards right leg dominant but a little right of center. And so now I need to guide or dial in my pressure shifts and my ground reaction forces to match what I've just tested to be there. And if I do that 
most of the time we see really good results in terms of impact uh, on the golf ball, in terms of flight, in terms of club head speed and all those things. So dialing in your particular lower body action to the results of your leg dominance test can be very effective.